Hey guys, I'm back with another video about the AT&T Galaxy S2, and this time it's NFC and how to enable it on your AT&T Galaxy S2. So, let me just open it up. And if you've updated your AT&T Galaxy S2 i777 from AT&T to Ice Cream Sandwich, you may have noticed that if you go into More in the settings, you do not have the option for NFC and Android Beam. So, you have no option to enable it. Even though your phone has NFC hardware, AT&T has locked it down for their own reasons. So, anyways, I'll demonstrate it quickly and then I'll show you how to get it. So here's my Galaxy S3 AT&T version. And of course, this phone does have NFC enabled, so I'll just demo it real quick. So if I open up Maps, I can beam from the S3 to the S2. Now it has the same maps open, and of course it works the other way too. So I'll do it from the S2 this time to the S3. So that was a quick demo, and it works with a whole bunch of apps besides maps. You can be in YouTube videos, contacts, which is my favorite. When you have a buddy and you want to just share your contact, you just tap the backs of the phones. Um, and otherwise, if an app doesn't have an NFC action, Lots of times when you uh, try to do NFC beam, Android beam, uh, within that app, it'll just send the other phone to the market or Play Store to download the app, which is also cool if you just want to share an app real quick with a friend. Anyway, so how you enable this is you download the Showstock ROM, and I'll have the link in the description. So I'll just show you real quick what my phone is running. So I'm on Android 4.0.4, as your sandwich. And the ROM is called Showstock 2, and right now I'm on version 4.1.2. And it's based on the XWLPT ROM, uh, which is an official uh, ice cream sandwich ROM from, eight, uh, from Samsung for the international Galaxy S2. So it's just been modded to run on the AT&T Galaxy S2 i777 with a bunch of cool additions. Um, like having the Apex launcher so you have more of the stock ice cream sandwich uh, feel on your phone. A bunch in, and also a bunch of other enhancements uh, like NFC in this case. So anyways, to get started, you need to be rooted. And so if you're not already rooted uh, and you're back on Gingerbread, uh, I'll have the link in the description for that. And if you're on at and ice cream sandwich, I'll also have the link uh, to an article where it details the instructions to root that, uh, your phone on that version of Android. Um, anyway, so once you're all rooted, all you have to do is download it. And uh, this is actually the link. To, I'll have this link in the XDA thread, um, from the XDA thread in the description, where you can go ahead and you get some screenshots and the extensive change log. The developer's really good about updating. And anyways, here's the download link in yellow and just go ahead download that and then uh, make sure your phone is unplugged from any computer and hold down the volume down volume up and power button together or if you're already on a, another ROM you can just go ahead and boot into recovery and just wait for it to reboot into recovery into clockwork mod and then all we're going to do is flash this ROM and make sure you do a full wipe if you're coming from a different ROM. So we'll just wait a second, it's almost done. Okay, there we are. So you want to make sure that you wipe data, factory reset, and I'm not going to do it obviously because I'm already on it, but just go ahead and do that and make sure you back up any data before you do this that you'd want to keep. And then after that, you just do install zip from SD and depending whether you download it to your internal or external SD, pick the appropriate one. The top one is the external one and here's the internal one. And then just make sure that you go to downloads or whatever folder you place the file in. And there you go, show stock 412. And then go ahead and install that by clicking 
yes. And once you're all set there, you'll boot in uh, to show stock ROM and you'll have NFC enabled. That's it guys, everything's down in the description. See you in the next video. Bye.